It is Monday, September 15th, 2025. Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Several areas to watch this strong tropical disturbance in the Atlantic is likely to develop. I want to track that all the way into next week. We'll do that in this video. Extra rain for us in the Northeastern Caribbean, watching Antigua and Barbuda, uh, back through St. Kitts and Nevis, Saba, Stacia, St. Martin. I'll, I'll zoom down to some spots. And then keeping an eye on the coast of the Carolinas, some development is actually possible here just over the next 24 hours at the least some gusty winds so several areas that we're tracking we swing back through the caribbean and it is more active with areas of rain and storms we're going to see a couple surges of that anywhere from the u.s and british virgin islands swinging all the way back uh, through us uh, say a montserrat seeing that better chance of rain and guilla higher chance of rain and then we've been seeing some of the rain from overnight uh, nicaragua el salvador honduras back through belize swinging back through the cayman islands and Jamaica, we're going to see a better chance of some scattered showers and storms. All of this kind of lifting to the north, so a busier pattern for this week ahead. We swing to the north. There's going to be a little spin here near the outer banks of the Carolinas. If you're along the east coast of the U.S., I want to zoom down to some of the winds in that and the rain totals. We'll do that in just a moment. Now, here's the big area we're watching here. We are in the uh, Caribbean. Here's this disturbance here. Again, a very healthy disturbance. I do expect it to develop. There's been some dry air around it, but you can see it. it is flaring up despite some of that dry air. And this will continue to make its way to the west northwest. And then I do believe there'll be a little bit more of a turn with this. I want to show you why. Now, almost all of the models are developing this. And what I'm seeing in the environment is uh, it uh, developing uh, because uh, we're seeing it healthier as of now. It seems to be fighting off some of that dry air. So almost all of the models have this developing eventually into the hur uh, a hurricane. Now, the Icon German model has this as a tropical storm. Either way, all four showing this area becoming a named system, but then making a little bit of a curve. So we'll see how much of a curve as we go throughout the week. That's what I'll be watching because, of course, if anything comes near or develops in the Caribbean Gulf or near the Bahamas, it could flare up pretty quickly. These water temperatures are so very warm this time of year. The depth of the warm water is pretty substantial to us. Talking about that in yesterday's video. So monitoring what's going on, not just above our heads, but also down at the uh, surface. Now, here's a look at the European model. Here we are in the Caribbean. High pressures in control, at least initially. That's the blocker. That allows this area to move to the west-northwest and just continuing to move uh, toward the Caribbean. But eventually, and what we've been seeing are a lot of fronts along the east coast of the U.S. As these move toward Bermuda, it should help to kind of allow this area to curve a little bit and hopefully before it reaches uh, us in the Caribbean. You see here, this is by the time we get into Thursday, all of the models showing this area kind of making at least initial curve. And then the European model is picking up on another tropical wave back behind it. That may develop somewhat. Not seeing a lot of development out of that, but really two spots to watch in the open water waters of the Atlantic. Then as we work our way into the weekend, this here is by Sunday. So we're looking at six days from now and you see the spread of uncertainty, which is common once we get six, seven days out in time. But showing the core of this uh, would be to the uh, northeast and north of the uh, Caribbean. We'll be mindful of Bermuda down the road to see if it takes a quicker turn. Hopefully it does. And then just keeping an eye on these additional spots uh, back toward the Atlantic. No huge signs of development out of those, but we do need to watch those. Those are a little bit more likely to work their way off to the west as we work our way into next week. Now looking at the European model a little more specifically, here we are in the Caribbean. Here's this spot right here high pressure initially in control and you could see what happens as we go out in time so this is today watching the fronts here the blocker should stay off toward the east as it does that could give this an alleyway to kind of curve before it gets to us in the Caribbean but let's see together how this evolves the next couple days and we do have that time to to watch it because it is so far out there. Here we are in the Caribbean. This here is by Wednesday. The European model has this area trying to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm as we work our way into the middle and later portions 
of the week. Now, as we go out in time here, uh, working our way into the weekend, this here is Saturday, and then as we work our way into Sunday, uh, we could see this area to the northeast and north of the Caribbean. We'll see how close this gets. The European model has this uh, into a strong tropical storm by the uh, weekend, potentially a hurricane, keeping an eye on Bermuda in these fronts. That'll be key to see how quickly this area turns. And then, as I mentioned, the European model showing another area that will just watch back behind it. But as of now, it looks like as this area uh, develops, it would be to the northeast or the Caribbean, but not positive, not making that call just because we need to see how this evolves over the next few days. And fortunately, we do have that time to watch this to see if it gets closer to the Caribbean or stays away. We're going to track that together throughout the week. Now here is the American model. Here's the spot in the Carolinas. I'm going to zoom down into in just a second and then watching this area here and keeping an eye on the northeastern Caribbean. There's going to be some extra rain the next few days and there's that surge of moisture. I mentioned the Cayman Islands, uh, Cuba, South, Belize, parts of Mexico, some heavier rain all the way down through Costa Rica. Now going out in time into midweek with the American model very similar as a whole to the European model this area trying to develop it may not develop yet slow development out of it and then look at this little batch of rain back through the northeastern Caribbean that's what we'll get to with some of those rain totals in a moment and then watching this extra moisture lifting all the way up toward Florida you see that plume of moisture sitting right here Central America back through the Western Caribbean and then as we work our way out in time into the upcoming weekend this here is by Saturday the American model has this do a quicker curve that would be better news for Vermont Bermuda, these fronts kind of keeping it off toward the east. We'll wait and see on that, though. I'm not quite sure if it'll be that quick turn. This could be a very close call for uh, Bermuda down the road. And then this would be early next week, Monday into Tuesday of next week, monitoring Bermuda very carefully. And there, like the European model, another tropical wave we'll need to watch to see if it does develop. Either way, that one's a little bit more likely to move to the west. And then once again, a lot of moisture building and lifting up to the uh, north back through the Gulf. Not seeing signs of development out of that, but just keeping an eye on this area as well as we work our way into next week. Now here's the zoom down look, east coast of the United States covering everyone with the potential of tropical weather. This system most likely will not be a named system, but either way, acting like a tropical depression or even a sloppy tropical storm. Heavier rain right across 64, uh, say Rocky Mount, out toward the Outer Banks, some heavier rain at times throughout the day. Some some gusty winds, you're going to notice that anywhere from uh, the, uh, uh, say, Salisbury South, even by the time we get into tomorrow, lifting up toward the Jersey uh, Shore, seeing some additional rain, but gusty winds uh, all the way from uh, Ocean City, uh, even New Jersey, Ocean City, Maryland, all the way back through the Outer Banks, still seeing some of those showers as we work our way into Wednesday. And look at the winds in this, and you can see it here. Again, we're not looking at anything super powerful, but this white shading, those are gusts to about 40, 50 miles per hour right along the coast of the Carolinas, so the Outer Banks, watching Moorhead City uh, north, watching over toward Hatteras, uh, Kitty Hawk, uh, up toward Duck by tomorrow, some gustier winds. And then we swing back toward Delmarva, watching the Tidewater area, some stronger winds. But you see the center of this, just kind of a, a swirl, not necessarily tropical in nature. And then still those gusty winds all the way into uh, deeper into a Tuesday. And even Wednesday, uh, you see this broad spin sitting right in here. So a sloppy mess back through the uh, mid-Atlantic. This here is by the time we get into Wednesday midday still showing this flow and then even some coastal overwash uh, New Jersey south the possibility of some coastal flooding with this with that persistent onshore flow and some beach erosion will be possible and you see those totals I uh, mentioned across 64 there'll be some totals of four five even six inches of rain in particular parts of North Carolina uh, as we work our way into central sections and then pushing over toward the coast lifting up to the north there could be two three four inches of rain as we get into parts of uh, Del Marva watching over toward Virginia Beach uh, Norfolk as well for some heavier rain or at least uh, batches of rain all the way through Wednesday. Now we swing here as we zoom back down uh, into the uh, Caribbean, watching out for these areas of rain scattered about a little more widespread in the northeastern Caribbean. I'll show you that in a moment. This here is tomorrow, watching batches of rain feeding in Cayman Islands. We'll see how close some of this uh, gets, watching the rain at times. Guatemala back through Mexico scattered in Belize. And then as we work our way into Wednesday, little surge of moisture. You see it here, northeastern Caribbean. That's what I was talking about. We're going to see that better chance of rain 
rain, not only today, but also as we work our way into the middle of the week. And then, of course, all eyes will be on what's going on out there in the Atlantic. And there are some of that rain feeding back especially by the time we get into Wednesday, uh, parts of the Florida Keys, Western Cuba and uh, the uh, Northern Bahamas Wednesday, the rain chance is going to get higher. Here's the broad picture lifting to the north. And then I want to take you around and show you the rain totals. Watching this spot here, Bermuda, of course, we've been talking about some batches of rain the last few days. This here is Mario on the eastern Pacific side in another system uh, kind of working its way from uh, British Columbia back through uh, Manitoba. That could flare up another round of severe storms eventually by midweek, similar to what happened yesterday. There's the spot in the Mid-Atlantic. There's Mario. I'll show you the track on that in a moment. It will be weakening, but it could drive some extra rain toward the Baja. Even watching Southern California back through parts of Arizona. We'll see how this shakes out by the time we get into the middle of the week. There's that next system. Some of these storms could be strong to severe on Wednesday. There's the moisture from Mario, keeping an eye on the spot on the Mid-Atlantic. And there by midweek, that surge of rain from Cuba, South Florida, swinging back toward of the uh, northern Bahamas. That's where there'll be some extra rain. Now here's Mario. Here's the Baja. So we swing back through Mexico. It is a tropical storm. It was Mario, then it kind of fell apart, and then it became Mario again. Uh, but either way, I'm going to keep an eye on this moisture to see how much tries to swing back toward northwestern Mexico and even potentially California and Arizona down the road. Now the seas are going to be elevated near the coast of the Carolinas. Bit of a chop as we work our way into uh, the Caribbean. But as we get deeper into the week, Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, we'll be watching out in the Atlantic because even if this area stays away from us, the strong tropical disturbance that will develop, those Atlantic passageways are going to get very rough and dangerous as we work our way into the upcoming weekend because some of those swells will be uh, working in. Now, as far as the rain goes, the next three days, you see northern Bahamas. That's where we could get some spots of 50 to 75 millimeters of rain or two to three inches of rain. Could see a little bit more up to four inches parts of South Florida swinging back toward uh, western Cuba with some heavy areas of rain. Cayman Islands, I mentioned uh, we're going to monitor just how close some of this rain gets, especially back toward Grand Cayman. Jamaica, we're going to see an active week. Not all of us get the rain, but scattered showers, storms. Some of those could be strong for us across Jamaica, scattered about as well. Cuba, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, watching out for some of the rivers, some of the runoff as well, some substantial totals. Now, Northeastern Caribbean, I've been highlighting this, mentioning some batches of rain. Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barts, we could get some spots of 100 millimeters of rain as we go throughout the uh, week ahead, or at least over the next three days, I should say. But the Northeastern Caribbean, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Sebastia, even watching the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, it will be more active over the next few days. We swing back here, not quite as active. We could get some passing showers, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, but really maybe 10 millimeters of rain, a little bit more in some spots. That's it. A little bit quieter, Suriname, Guyana. And then this is where we have some of the extra rain, of course, very active. And we'll see those surges of moisture just pushing in. Some spots, 150 millimeters of rain for a three day total. We could see that four, five, six inches of rain heads up in Belize. It is going to get more active over the next two days. We need to monitor some flooding in Belize and then seeing this moisture kind of swinging uh, back through uh, Mexico. But watching this, this is what's left of Mario. We'll see if any of this tries to squeak into uh, Southern uh, California as we work our way into the middle of the week. Elsewhere, a little bit quieter in through here with some of that autumn weather. Again, South Florida, Northern Bahamas, better chance of rain. And I zoomed down earlier back toward the uh, Carolinas. So an active week, 50% chance of scattered showers and storms today and tomorrow for us in Jamaica. And then as we go throughout the week, uh, the Cayman Islands, again, that rain chance is going to be increasing. We're going to see a better chance of rain as the week goes on in the Cayman Islands. 40% chance scattered about possible Trinidad and Tobago and a 30 to 40% chance through midweek in Barbados. Rain chance, St. Lucia, pretty minimal, 30% chance for tomorrow, 40% chance on Wednesday, and a 20 to 30% chance the next three days in Grenada. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, 20% chance today, 30% chance for tomorrow, and a 30% chance the next couple of days in Martinique. Bumping up some though as the week goes on, Dominica and on Tuesday and Wednesday, for example, rain chance, our rain chance is going to be up to about 40%, a few more showers. Guadalupe, rain chance about 50%. 
uh, on Wednesday as some of the showers from the north may spill over. And here's that higher chance of rain, Antigua, Barbuda, not all day, but a 70% chance today, back up to a 60% chance on Wednesday. See St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat? We're going to have some rain around at times today. And then even on Wednesday, another surge of some of that moisture. We do that again, same thing, Anguilla and St. Bart's, an 80% chance of some rain around today, a 40% chance tomorrow, and a 60% chance on Wednesday, a 70% chance of rain today around St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. 40 to 50% chance in Puerto Rico, picking up a little bit by the time we get into Wednesday, monitoring some of that rain around. And I mentioned the U.S. and British Virgin Islands also getting more active over the next few days. We're going to have some scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms that will be around Bahamas midweek. We'll watch the northern Bahamas for a higher chance of rain. Isolate it back through the uh, Turks and Caicos, and we swing back through the Dominican Republic. Another active week ahead monitoring that flood threat, watching the rivers and the mudslides. Same thing in Haiti. Rain chance 50% today. By Wednesday, we're up to about a 70% chance. And look at us in Belize. I mentioned some of the flooding possible. It is going to be more active. Three, four, five inches of rain in some spots the next few days. Aruba, Carousel, and Bonaire on the flip side. Rain chance only running at about 10 to 20%. A 30% chance in Guyana, just a 20% chance over the next three days in uh, Suriname. And then about a 50 to 60% chance of scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms in Cuba. Rain chance staying on the high side, Costa Rica and Panama the next two days, an 80% chance, a 60 to 70% chance in Nicaragua and in Honduras. Rain chance elevated, watching out for some areas of flooding as we go over the next three days. 60% chance today, Guatemala and El Salvador, up to an 80% chance for tomorrow, and a 60 to 70% chance over the next uh, three days in uh, Mexico City. Yucatan Peninsula, rain chance build Scattered areas of rain, Merida, Campeche, monitoring that over toward uh, Cozumel. Northern Colombia, rain chance about 50%, a 50 to 60% chance in northern Venezuela. And watching some of that rain around again in Bermuda with these fronts coming off the east coast of the United States. So uh, we have that Atlantic tropical wave, pretty strong disturbance out there. Slow development possible with that this week. We'll be monitoring that. Watching near the Carolinas and for us in the northeastern Caribbean, our rain chance is higher. By the way, the next name on the list, the next uh, name storm, that is Gabrielle. I hope you're doing well. I'll be watching your comments throughout the day. Have a good start to the week.